Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm a cinematographer, just a dude with the camera. All right, so today is part two, again, of my brilliant light purple Myers Manx Doom Buggy. As you can see, we've got the body off of the pan. We're just doing an update, making sure that everything is taken care of and dialed in and up to speed. So if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. All right, I really don't know how much I'm going to be filming on the chassis here, but I just went and put the metal fuel lines, and rather than trying to cut it and shorten it, just loop it around the torsion bar right here. It makes it perfect length, so you can get a good seal going on right there. Up front, we got the rest of them dialed in, ready to go. All right, so right now I'm just taking off these meats. What size are they? 275, 60. 15s. <laughs> Those are monsters. But I'm not going to run these rims. I might keep the tires, but not the rims. And the fronts are 14, so those are definitely going to be gone. So maybe I'll just keep these together as a set. Use them on my Baja or something. All right, so first off, like I said, pulling off the wheels. And then we're going to pull the drums off. And I just ordered all the brake parts. They'll be here Wednesday. So it'll give me a couple of days to get everything scrubbed down and touched up on the black paint. All right, the big old honking wheels are off. Coming back here, I've got brand new brake drums in the back, but there's no brakes components inside. I must have robbed all those at one point. I'm gonna go through and clean all this up and repaint the axles. Up front, these are crusty, crusty. They're complete, but they've been, this front end's been sitting around for a while. I never took the brake drums off, so we're going to go ahead and do that and take those off. I've got brand new drums and all the new brake parts coming. All right, be back soon. Okay, back drums are off. You can see those are brand new. And I have a brand new set of 66, 67 fronts right here. And this is just a couple of minutes on the, with a wire wheel. And it cleans up nicely. The other side, I haven't done yet, but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, here is the driver's side front drum taken off. Now you remember how it was making all that crunchy noise? This has been sitting forever. That is wild. Little mud wasps made their nests in there. Here's the other side. That's crazy. I'm just gonna zip these bolts off, pull off the backing plate and everything, all is one. Okay, here you go. Without breaking any of the bolts off, I was able to pull the whole complete backing plate and everything out. I was lucky enough to have a pair of 66, 67 backing plates laying around that are in pretty good shape. Just need a little freshening up. These are, I think, gone. I've got plenty of springs and adjusters and everything laying around, so it's gonna be a pretty easy swap over. So that's next. It's cleaned up nicely. I'll give them a fresh coat of paint. And the drums will just get pitched because they are maybe good for rollers. Just went through all my parts bins and I came up with enough adjusters and spreader bars and emergency brake levers. Do the job. Just waiting on parts. And as it works out, I had a couple of sets of earlier backing plates. Of course, the bolt holes are not the same. So I had to take apart those crusty ones knock everything loose and now I've got them soaking in vinegar overnight. Tomorrow I'll hit it with the wire wheel and then put some some uh, rust dissolver on it and then get them painted black and we should be fine. Okay. 
Okay, as you can see, we've been moving right along in the pan. Front brakes are all cleaned up. We just got the parts delivered, so we're gonna get those all put together. All the cables and hoses are in. Mocking up a battery box. I've got four brand new brake drums. Front and rears, we're gonna go ahead and pound in the bearings and races tomorrow. Moving right along. All right, here we go. I didn't take a picture of the back without the drums on, but the drums are on. And then there's the front. I'll post a picture of the before and there. They were pretty crunchy, mainly because there were some wasps, some mud wasps that made their nest in there, made it all crusty and crunchy. All right, anyways, front brakes are on. New races are put in, new bearings are put in, new drums are getting ready to go on in a minute. Here's what I got for a battery box. I just should have showed you guys what I was doing. All right, hopefully I'll have wheels back on it tomorrow. All right, we're expecting a little bit of rain here for the next couple of days, but it's kind of cool that this could just sit out here and get rained on and it's not gonna hurt anything. All right, so on the pan, we've got all the brakes are 90% done. I got the wrong front brake hoses, so I've got to get those delivered today. I think they're coming. But everything else is done in the brakes. Got the battery box into place. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to run a side post battery. So I'm trying to figure out maybe I need a, two cables or a foot apiece. And that'll make it nice and easy. So this is in here, level and sturdy. Just do a little bit of touch up and I've got to run a brake line, I mean a fuel line on this side. Like you have the brake line on the other side. And once I get the brakes bled, then I can get them adjusted and still got to cut my cables here. And we got the motor here. And once I get a clutch coming for it, it should be here today as well. We're gonna get the motor installed because we got a couple things we want to do for that as well. All right, short little update. All right, got the emergency brake working great. All right, I just found out that my clutch kit is going to be delayed, so we're going to have to wait till next week to get the motor in and start working on that part. So we're going to end this one here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Ciao.